is it hot or what? What's up guys, my name is Double Z. So I recently watched my most popular video on this channel, which is the Notepad Tricks video. The video has around 120,000 views and it's just awful. The video quality is bad, the music in the background is there for like a minute and the rest of it is just silence, like awkward silence. The way I showed things was terrible, and since the video was made like 6 years ago, there's a lot of spelling mistakes. And a lot of you guys pointed that out. And I'm talking a lot of you guys. Yeah, thanks for that. But anyway, today I wanted to make an update for that video, and hopefully this one makes up for the awful quality of the other one. So, without further ado, here are some notepad tricks in 2017. So, some of these tricks have long codes, but I'm not gonna explain each code, that's a topic for another video. For now, I'm just gonna copy the codes, and of course, you can find all the codes in the description and copy them for yourself. So, the first trick is hitting the backspace button continuously. Here's the code. Of course, once you paste it in Notepad, you need to save the file as, in this case, a VB script file. So, you need to change the extension to .vbs and change to all files. And once I open it, you can see that if I try typing something, it doesn't let me because the backspace key is being pressed as if the keyboard button was stuck or something. This is a fun trick you can do to a friend. It can be really annoying if they don't know how to turn it off. But yeah, if you want to stop this, just open up your task manager and find the right process. It's this icon right here and just end it. Moving on to the next trick, which is a little game you can make in Notepads, it's called the guessing game. And since it's a game, the code is a little longer, but still nothing too serious. Let's open it up and see how it works. So your computer sets a random number and you have to guess it. But of course, with each of your guesses, it helps you by telling you if you need to go higher or lower. I've actually never played anything similar to this, so this was pretty interesting to me when I first heard about it. So when you finally guess the number, it tells you how many tries it took you to do it. And of course, the point of this game is to have the lowest amount of tries. Next up we have the password generator, which is a neat trick, especially if you use one of those password managers. The generator gives you a random set of numbers and letters, which you can use as a password and which you can save somewhere so you don't have to remember it every time. And it is pretty clear that those randomized and complex passwords are the best and they will keep your accounts secure almost all the time. I say almost because you can never really be 100% secure. However, with this notepad trick, you can be 100% sure that the numbers and letters will be random. So if you don't trust those websites that do this sort of a thing, you can do it in notepad. You can even modify the codes if you want the password to be longer. At number 4, we have not so much of a trick, but more of an interesting fact and an easter egg called Bush Hid the Facts. So apparently in Windows XP, if you opened up Notepad and typed in Bush Hid the Facts, saved it, closed it and then opened it again, the letters were all messed up and encrypted. Basically they were hidden. Which is pretty cool I guess, but unfortunately it doesn't work on Windows 7 or older, as far as I know. I couldn't get it to work on Windows 10, so I'm assuming that was just a Windows XP thing. Also, this used to work with other sayings like Bill fed the goats, or pretty much any letters with that particular pattern. 
and the theory behind why this bug was happening is because this pattern of letters for some reason causes the change of the code standard for example from ASCII to UTF but yeah as of right now you can't really see this trick unless you still have Windows XP and this somehow still works for you And at number 5 we have ghostwriting. This one is pretty similar to the backspace one, it uses the same principle. Once you open the script file, whenever you try typing something, something else that's pretty creepy will show up. Yeah, I would say that's pretty creepy, right? Of course, you can modify the code and write whatever you want, but I thought this was pretty creepy and I guess it turned out pretty good. I feel like you can really creep someone out if you get them to open the script. Anyway, those are the 5 notepad tricks I wanted to show you. There are some other honorable mentions like ejecting your CD drive and converting text to speech but I couldn't get those to work for some reason. However, they do seem to be working for everyone else so if you want to try them out the codes will be in the description. That's gonna be it for this video, I hope you guys liked it and hopefully you found some of these interesting or even helpful. If you did, make sure to let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. That's it for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!